Hello, and welcome to yet another YouTube video. I'm your girl Chloe, and if you have yet to subscribe, please do to join my wonderful unicorn family. Today's topic is my experience getting bottom surgery, or GRS, gender reassignment surgery. Um, so my mom said that she was going to take me to my surgery, but that didn't happen, and just to point out, my mom has never been supportive of me during my transition. Um, so my aunt ended up taking me to go and get my surgery. During this time, I was a little nervous because of the complications I have been having with my intestines, which has me even more worried because of the second part of the surgery happening in a couple of days. But anyways, back to what happened. I was told to get into a gown and wipe down my body with a special wipes. After that, I got into a bed that had a heated bag blanket things, almost looked like I was about to become an Amazon package. It's like those little balloon packaging thingies that they put in the boxes. Um, we waited a couple of hours until everybody was ready to come get me. Today, uh, come get me, they set me up on this bed and put on an IV in me as well um, as sticking a needle in my spine a couple of times, which it actually wasn't painful. And just as a disclaimer, uh, don't let this discourage you from getting bottom surgery. Um, if you are thinking about getting it, at least, um, after this happened, I passed out and woke up in the hospital room. The first night, they gave me antibiotics, which one of them caused me to break out in the hives. Uh, I called the nurse in during this time by like pressing the button on the bed, and uh, they came in and you know they they fixed it. Um, I think they put something into my IV that you know, kind of got rid of the hives and, and whatnot. Um, they also gave me like chicken noodle soup, uh, like the chicken broth and some jello uh, because I was on a liquid diet at this time. Um, the second night they wanted me to start walking. I got super nauseous and didn't manage walking until the third night. Um, I left to go home on the third day when my aunt came to pick me up. When we started moving, I got nauseous again and had to roll down the window to the van that we were in. During the time I was in the hospital, I was on a liquid diet and they, and then they gradually, you know, got to a solid diet. At home, I had catheters and drains I had to empty out every now and again. Well, anyways, that's all I have for you today. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe, my wonderful unicorn friends.